Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Well, this is easily my best arena run in a long time. It's I've matched my previous best ever wins in the arena. Back then, the cap was 9 wins, but of course, the maximum is 12 now. I have no strikes yet, so I have three chances to win at least one game, which would make which would make this my best arena run ever. And there's if I'm really lucky, maybe I can go beyond that. But remember, I'm going to be playing against other players who have a lot of wins and no losses either. So it's only going to get tougher. Rexa versus Jaina. Another mage. Okay, well, I don't need the explosive shot this early in the game. Uh, do I want to unleash the Hounds of Starving Buzzards? Because that's like an amazing thing, but I think I'm going to save that for later. This may be a controversial choice, but I don't expect a mage to play that many creatures early on. I'd rather have the ability to make sure I can kill one. I'm going to keep one Starving Buzzard. Actually, do I really need this now? I want to get more creatures. This is a good thing to have. And the Iron for a Grizzly, that's pretty good. Definitely get a lot more card choices when you're going second, but... I'm going to keep telling myself, Blizzard has the stats, going first is slightly advantageous. Unless you are a rogue or a priest in the actual master class, like the top 20 or 30 people in the game or something like that. It, which is the only time when they have a small percentage advantage by going second. Okay, well, I think the obvious play is this. There's no advantage to pointing out something that can be shot. In fact, it would be cripplingly stupid to do so. Mana addict. See, that's kind of annoying because she can survive this. Uh, I think the thing to do is coin out a bear. Bears are good. decide if I should attack or not. I think I'm going to attack this time. It's giving her something else to shoot at, but she can't frost bolt and shoot this in the same turn. If she has a frost bolt, she's going to use it on this. And if she doesn't have a frost bolt, it might be harder to kill this, or she'd be using AoEs or random cards, which might kill him anyway. Okay. That's not too bad. Got rid of the stupid mana addict. One, not that I had a choice. Um, of course, this guy's not going to last too long. I could play a starving buzzard; he'll just die. I'm going to shoot you, and next turn I might play both of these so I can actually like draw a card. <coughs> Cough. Cough, tacular. That's predictable, but it did take half her turn. Ooh, that's not good. I don't like that. But I think I'm going to stick with my plan of play multiple birds and draw a card. Because this, she, she still dies if she hits a bird. I mean, my opponent could buff her somehow, but I can't count on that. I've got to operate on what seems most probable. Most probable is shoot one of these, and then she probably doesn't even want to trade with one of them, but she might, because frick, two birds. She'd rather kill two birds with one stone, but I don't know if she has a stone in her hand. Ow. Okay, so she got rid of one, she's willing to leave one alive. That, that was a pretty good way to kill one, I'll give her that. Um... I guess I'll just play another bird to draw another card, because this this isn't going to do anything good for me in the short, short term. And I'm going to use probably Kill Command to kill this thing. No pressing need for it to exist. Or I could leave it alive and draw two cards. Tempting, but probably not wise. I think I should just Kill Command this. I think the board control, I've, I've got the means to draw more cards. I've got good cards in my hand. I think the board control is more important right now. 
could be horribly mistaken. This this already, for some reason, feels like a much more dangerous game. Probably just because I didn't get quite as optimal a bunch of cards as I did. I think against the other mage I had an extremely awesome, like, draw of cards. Lots of things that were not that mageable. Um... So I could play this, get a free damage from that, and draw a card, and then what? Not much. This guy I can play, and he he won't draw me a card, he won't do any damage, and he doesn't even kill the shield master. So I think my choice is to play a Bullet Fist Ogre and continue taking a beating. Because you can now probably afford the mana to fire blast this. Probably polymorph this, fire blast that, and oh yeah, her spells are all cheaper because of this too, which is why this is not willing to trade for that. <sighs> I didn't draw that many cards despite having them alive for so long. This is starting to look not so good. I gotta reclaim this situation somehow, and that's not it. I don't have enough mana to knife juggler and this guy. I can deadly shot and it'll randomly kill one, but it's not going to kill like what I want, I'm pretty sure. There's only a 1 in 3 chance that it would kill this. This is not a good situation. I guess this guy plus the sheep can kill that, and that's probably what I have to do. Because that guy's causing me problems. And now I'm still definitely not in control of the board, but I'm not as far behind as I was. As long as she can keep using stuff from her hand to kill one of my guys every turn, she can keep pummeling me and trading the other guy and stuff like that. So my position is not good. Probably gonna draw at least the hounds now that I got rid of all my uh, birds. Yeah, very few birds left. I've lost what three, four of them now. I don't know. Kind of worried. Hmm. You're thinking a lot. Are you squelched? No, you're not. Now you are. Moral victory. There's some videos where I've spent a lot of time trying to flip the, bear, the uh, fur on this tent. I realized later on that my camera is in the way of the tent. So all that effort was wasted. Which is not really that big a deal, except that I'd be sitting there clicking for like minutes and you're like, what the hell is going on? Because you can't see it. Okay. This is such a bad situation. I do have enough minutes. I can multi-shot. Then I can play a Knife Juggler and the Dire Wolf Alpha. I should be able to kill most of this stuff, but I'm so far behind. If she has a Pyroblast or just Fireballs, I'm going to be in big trouble. But this is what i got to do, pretty much. I think I'm better multi-shotting first, because I don't want to waste the one point of damage I get from him on something. It, it really isn't going to matter, unless the one damage hits this. And there's so much randomness involved, I can't really control that. Nice. Okay, well that worked out ideally. Because now I play this, I've got a 50-50 chance to kill him for free. Probably won't happen, but that's okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to kill her with uh, Young Priestess. More training? Yeah. More training. I think she was hoping that training was a euphemism for something different than what it was. Okay, that's a good sign. She's not going for the kill right this second. Oh, man. I'm so dead. Owen has 24 health. I've put a lot of other people in situations that look like this over the course of the game, but yeah, this is not good. Um, got good resources here. I can't do all three of these things. I wonder. So I do have to trade this to kill something. Okay. 
And that makes my uh, solution a little easier. Oh, I forgot. I thought I had ten men. I wasn't thinking at all. I'm a dumbass. Well, now I have to deadly shot that piece of junk. I guess I'd end up with the same amount of stuff in play either way, but I could have saved my deadly shot and used his bubble instead, which would have been smarter. Aw, oh, damn it! There is loss number one. This is gonna happen. I'm gonna get. I got up to nine wins. I'm just not gonna get, be able to get past. I'm gonna lose three in a row. That's one. I still have two more chances to get a win to beat my previous record. I was holding up the two here. I don't know if it was on camera. Like I know what I'm doing. Come on. Come on. Find me someone who just really lucked out to get to this point and isn't really that good. Please. Rexa versus Jaina. Another mage? You asked That's the same mage! That is the same mage. That is bullshit. I lose so it puts me against the same damn person in the arena? Kiss my ass. My record is worse than it was last game. I shouldn't have to deal with it. I'm going to get rid of the Timberwolf, too. It's not a good early game. I guess a mage. Might be against someone else. Oh. That's actually not really that much worse than what I had, since I can play this stuff anyway. But it's not good. It's like, seriously, against the same person that beat me. What is that bullshit? That is not even remotely fair. Oh, awesome. She's got... The it's gonna be a giant mess. So doomed. She didn't have a mirror image in her starting hand. She can still have arcane missiles, she can cast other spells for cheaper, or she can just play more stuff. Fine. Back juggler. Now here's do I would I rather find out the animal companion? I guess the two four would actually be the best in this situation. The 2-4 or the 4-4 four four would be able to survive this, whereas my Grizz Iron for Grizzly can't. So I'm, of course, going to get the pig because it's the least useful one. No, we got Super Bear. Okay, kill her. Death to the gnome. And now you can trade this, but it'll still take most of your mana to finish off the bear. So. Ugh. Oh, now you don't have enough mana to kill the bear. Nice. Uh, in that case, yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna silence this, and I'm gonna start doing damage. Actually, I could kill one of them, but then you could just shoot it, and might as well. You're gonna do that anyway, most likely. So I might as well make you. I guess you could fireball this. That'd be annoying. You could have done that even if I killed one. So. Oh, that wouldn't have happened if I killed one. Damn. Board control is always an advantage, man. Um, so we're going to keep trying to put out stuff. I'd love to just be shooting her more, but I don't think I can keep up that kind of board control. That one damage was good, actually. It means that this guy can't just take out the knife juggler for free. There, there is a price that must be paid. I need to win this stupid mirror match, and then I need to play against someone different. Oh, you do have an arcane explosion. God damn. He's having a negative impact on my forces. Multi shot. That'll be good after. Um. Given that this can just do four damage to the ogre, I'm actually going to use the Argent Commander instead. It's nice to have choices. What the hell is this? It's almost like I have board control. Can't last for long. 
Blizzard would be pretty funny. Uh, that's pretty effective. I wish you had another creature so I could multi-shot, but... Uh, interesting. See, if I play the bear, this guy can't just kill him. But... I can't do that much else with my turn. I'm just wondering if that's worth it anyway. You know what? I'm... I can just put out more stuff. This can't hit both of them. The Boulder Fist is the most more stuff that I have. I think I'll go with that. Just get into damage. This guy mostly dies to kill that. It'll bring him into multi-shot range anyhow. Okay, you're gonna fireball that, and then so you're spending all of your mana for the turn to do that. Although you will end up with the advantage, so I'm not saying it's not worth it. And I can't multi-shot you. That's why I don't play multi-shot in my constructed deck. Um, do I want to waste Unleash the Hounds without the combo? It would save me a bubble. Yeah, it would actually save my guy because he can shoot off the bubble, right? So I think I might have to do this. This is such a horrific waste and it pains me in a deck that has five birds left. Ugh. That's so many. That's so much card drawing. I should really not do that. How often is she going to have a, more than one creature, though, to draw two cards from it? You know what? I'm just going to... I'm going to do this. Probably a horrible waste, but in the short term, establishing board control for my Argent Commander seems very worthwhile. She can shoot off the bubble, and she has six mana to do whatever. But, I don't know. Freaking. I have a slight hit point advantage, but she's got a lot more cards than I do. Fireball him, and then kill him with this. Fireballing me or him? Him. Okay. Interesting. Animal Companion. Which one do I get? Okay, well, now we know what we're doing. We are in assault mode. Burn her down. Just burn the witch. Oh my god. Da I'm stressing out now. This is what I look like when I'm stressing out. That Just believe me, I am actually stressing out. Put this apple on your head. My heart is beating at like three times its normal speed. It's like... Boom. 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 <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that's dead. I've got an explosive shot. That is not actually good enough because this guy survives the apocalypse. Okay, multi shot. Hit for four. And you know what? I'm gonna let her. I'm gonna leave. I'm not gonna waste the explosive shot on this because she could easily find some other way to kill us. I'm gonna start shooting her down because I can kill her in two turns. I have 23 life. It's gonna be incredibly hard for her to come back from that unless she has some crazy life gaining, life gaining neutrals. That's not a crazy life gaining neutral. Uh, that's a big fat jerk. Holy crap! I didn't expect her to play something so big it would survive the explosive shot, but it doesn't matter as long as I can kill her in two turns. Is there any chance she could kill me this turn? This is ten mana. Fire Blast only. Fire Blast costs ten. If this was a fireball, if she drew another fireball, that would be twelve, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. That's very close. Actually, if that was two fireballs, plus the two mana for this, she could kill me. So I am actually going to explosive shot this, even though it seems like a waste. Because killing that owl reduces the extremely small chance that I could die this turn. There's a pyro. But I, I don't think there's any way she would actually have killed me, but whatever. Die! 
Okay. We've got ten wins, and I'm not going to play the next game right away, because I don't want to run into the same damn person, who obviously has a crazy good record, because I ran into her when I was 9-0. and I have never even seen that key before. Wicked. Let's see. Can I get to... The, there's a cap at 12 wins. Next video, I could go anywhere from all the way to 12 wins and winning the arena to losing two in a row and striking out. So let's find out next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demon Knight Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.